what's going on guys young ramsey in this bitch and today we are going to be looking at something that caught my attention when people posted screenshots of it on twitter i got extremely excited about it but then i realized what the context was this is actually a crom skin being placed over a marth in smash 4 now i'm not sure about how the execution of this happened but it happened and obviously it looks really really good for me to say that i thought it was real at one point let's take a look at exactly what i'm talking about here though because some of you guys have talked about this before um a lot of you guys are actually throwing this at me on Twitter, and I'm sorry I wasn't able to reference anybody. There were just too many names that were mentioning it, and the list went super far down, so it was hard finding the first one. But um, shout out to all you guys that sent me this on Twitter. We have to take a look at this right away, because to be honest with you, I didn't think that it would be this soon. We would see a character, um, a character model hack, or a swap rather, or a palette swap, or something like that. But already, we have this kind of thing going on. So. Now, considering that this is actually the Smash 4 game itself that Krom is modded into, you guys have to understand that this is probably going to look amazing. I haven't watched this yet myself, so you know, we're going to see Krom in full detail. Now, I know there was a Krom skin that was implemented in uh, Brawl, Project M, etc., etc., but this is something totally different on a whole other level. So it's going to have the moose set of Marth, but the look of Krom. I can't wait to see exactly how this turns out, and considering that we just got confirmation of a Krom Mii Fighter skin, this may just be enough to satisfy all your erections that still want him in the game somehow, some way, in case he's not revealed for tomorrow. Let's take a look at exactly what this is. So we're going to mute that. We're going to start this up. Wait a minute, this dude put in... Wait a minute, this dude put in a freaking Soul Calibur um, song in fucking Smash? This is, this is the same guy that did the music swaps in Smash Brothers 4? Most likely, maybe, or maybe he's using the same methods. Either way, I guess a music swap shouldn't be something as surprising because he did a fucking character model swap in the first place. So that's kind of like entry level in comparison to what we're about to see. First time, let's see. What the hell did this dude do? That music sounds so good though. That music sounds so good. It literally was the music from fucking... I'm sorry, I love that. That's, that's from Soul Calibur 2, right? I don't know. I don't know. But it sounds good. That sounds so goddamn good. He turned the music off for it, so that's fine. But it probably wouldn't be the same song that's playing. Not sure what he's doing here, though. What's going on? Did the video so this is a nine minute video we're obviously not going to watch the whole thing here but it will be linked in the description in case you want to see stuff from it okay then okay Three, two, one, go. what the fuck dude hold on wait a minute that looks a little off to me whoa something's telling me that what this guy did That's pretty cool. So he took. So I'm thinking, whatever this dude did, he took Crom's model from Robin's Final Smash and used that over Mars. So he just like to like line the bones up, I'm guessing, and make the limbs work. And you could technically use that Crom as a model for a character, I suppose. In fact. In fact, wouldn't it not be that difficult? I mean, I'm not saying I, I'm not saying I know how modification of models goes and whatnot, but it doesn't seem like it would be that difficult to make the Crom model from fin Robin's Final Smash into an actual character, since the work is pretty much done for the most part. Wait a minute, this dude, this dude, dead ass. All right. This guy's able to hack the game to an extreme extent. He was doing moves and hitting everybody at the same time. So his moves got some hell of a range on him. Oh, you saw that walk-in animation though, Doug? That walk-in animation, his legs looked insane. I wonder. How much work would it take for something like this to be a completed job? Because right now, obviously, it's nowhere near completion, and who knows if it ever will be. Maybe the model is just totally incompatible with Marth's moveset. 
I mean, you, and you know, some characters work differently than others. They have different bone structure, um, different setups, and etc. like that. So maybe it would be something that could practically be turned into an entire full functional reskin. Because they're going to have ridiculous looking stuff like this going on. Although I think the insane range that he has is not a consequence of the model, but rather there's something that he added in. But who knows? What the fuck, dude? Krom is pretty damn OP. No wonder why Sakurai ain't put him in Smash. That model looks really good, though. It has blinking eyes and everything. To be honest, man, he could take this and put it straight into Smash Brothers, and this will be a full fucking... Like, look at him. Krom looks so complete. At least in the places where his model is functional, Krom looks like he's a fucking full character. But then again, I never really got a good chance to look in depth at the um, Krom from the Final Smash, so... Now that I'm seeing it like that, it makes you it makes you think, wow, this can actually be a thing, you know? In fact, it seems insane that Sakurai hasn't implemented him. He did all the model work for Krom. He did all the model work. How much harder would it be to implement a moveset at this point? Like, he, he already has the model done. Like, once, once a full model is pretty much completed, all you have to do is just give it movements and functions, properties, damage values, and um, collision, tech, uh, collision values, and boom, you got a character. Although, I, I kind of, I boiled it down to a really dumbass science there. I know it involves a whole lot more work, but still, it makes you wonder, dude. That model looks damn good, guys. It has the shading implemented, even the, you know, the little transparency with the hair, where you can kind of see through it, but not really. He has everything done for it. It looks so good. Um... Being honest, this kind of gets me a little excited. Maybe this is some foreshadowing for the future, you know? Although, the legs are throwing me off really hard, yo. Like, I didn't know Krom was capable of that. I ain't never seen no shit like that in Fire Emblem. So it's Krom and Robin. Hey, let's go. Krom's gonna beat that ass for leaving him behind, dude. funny if you end it with um, Krom there too. So Krom's crap clapping animation is even kind of like there in a way. Like he... Damn. But yeah, that, that model is undeniable, dude. But yeah, this dude is a hacker to the maximum, man. Like this guy... God damn, how many other videos does he have on his channel? I love the implementation of the Soul Calibur music in the game as well too. It sounds really, really good. So not too many videos from this guy. The last video that he posted, other than this one, was two years ago, which has nothing to do with Smash Brothers. So it's a little odd. What is this channel all about? And how did he... The description says, for some reason, I can hit any... Uh, wait, wait a minute, hold on. We have a description here that gives us some more details. For some reason, I can hit everyone from anywhere on the map as Krom. Probably just gotta rename some of his bones or something. So that is something that's a consequence of him playing as Krom with a Marth. With, excuse me, as Marth with the Krom skin. Very strange, man. He, someone says, "What would happen if you did this online? It would probably desync, as the other player would see a normal Marth. If the other player was hit with a dancing blade, it would more than likely cause an error." Oh, cool! You even gave Krom Marth melee hitboxes. <laughs> ah, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Uh, let me see. Someone called me in. Young Ramsey, bring your ass. Yeah. Uh Man, this is actually really interesting. I didn't think I would watch the whole video on this, but it's interesting. We watched the whole, over half of it. Guys, this will be linked in the description. Let me know what you think about this. Like I said, I feel like this model could turn could be turned into something amazing later on. Considering that Krom seems like he has more work done for him than other characters who don't have any values whatsoever, like um, King K, for example, or other characters like Lloyd Irvin, you know? I mean, I don't know, guys. You got to let me know if I'm like onto something here, but could that model potentially be turned into a character? Or is there more in store? Right now, it's July 30th. We have less than 24 hours until the direct or the presentation, whatever it is, that confirms all the content that we're getting in Smash for tomorrow. The me costumes, the stages, the music, the tournament mode, the YouTube uploading feature. All of these things are going to be revealed to us tomorrow. So, well, well not even tomorrow, in a few hours rather. So, I don't know guys. I want to be hopeful and say that there's going to be a huge surprise waiting at the end of it. It might just be one of these characters who we do have a me costume for actually in a character slot. I don't know. This gets me excited, though. I'm not even going to lie. Like, my, my dick is half hard right now. 
I'm being fully honest with you guys. I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. Young Ramsey out. Let's go.